Well, it happened today. Snacks Harrison is gone. Gone. The Giants are officially a mess. He gone. I, I can't believe how much they got it wrong. So Eli Apple yesterday, Snacks Harrison today, and Don brought up a great point earlier. Landon Collins was shocked. Shocked that there's gambling in this establishment. Shocked that the Giants traded Eli Apple. And all the defensive guys were tweeting to or texting to each other, what's going on? Well, now you know what's going on. You all stink, yeah. and we want to get rid of every single one of you. And we're cleaning house. So imagine how he felt today when he found well, out that Snacks Harrison, who I think is a top-flight right. nose tackle, got but, traded. But he's got a big contract, and that's why they were only able to get a fifth-round pick for him. I'm assuming, and, you know, you can't always assume, as you know, but that there was a conversation with the players when they reported to the stadium yesterday that this is what they were going to do. No, I don't think so because Pat Shermer told the media, you know, we're not giving up. Well, they are giving up. Well, no, 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 no. no. That, that's two different things. There's no He's way they told the players we're going to trade a lot of people. There's no way. There's no way. Well, because the players are going to want to know what's going on. Like, so, so Landon Collins is shocked, so they all report to the facility. What's going on? Eli Apple got traded. You heard Landon say, did something, did he do something wrong? Was there something about him that they didn't like? No, it was just they saw that he was a commodity. They can get something for him. And now Snacks is gone, so they're obviously going in a bit of a different direction. So Landon coming on saying, hey, we're still alive. That conversation was had. Now, Pat Shermer has got to tell the world, well, listen, we're still going to go out there and try to give it our best. We're still going to try to beat the Redskins. They're not tanking. It's just that now you got to start thinking about the future. Get rid of some of these contracts. Get some salary cap space. Get some draft picks and start rebuilding. Now, we're in for the long haul here. Today, I think, is actually a good day. You had mentioned that they're officially a mess. No, they've been a mess officially for a long, long time. Today, they've officially attempted to correct the mess. They finally admitted that we're not a team that's close. They finally admitted that every decision is not going to be based on winning now. This is a team that's all in on the future. So today is the first day of the rest of the Giants franchise, and hopefully they get it right and turn the corner. Well, here's what's brewing, brought to you by the aforementioned Bigelow T. And what's brewing is they might not be quote-unquote tanking, but they're not going to win a lot of games. They know if they trade their talent, they're going to lose a lot of games. Now, every, every player on that team is going to go out and try to win every single game. But it's like you're going into a gunfight with a, with a butter knife. Mom. Because the, the organization is setting them up that it's going to be almost impossible to win games if you trade your best players, Don. But you don't have to call it tanking, but the bottom line is they're not going to win well, games. Well, you have to be careful because you do have assets on the field. You have to protect those assets, okay? So you could strip it down bare in baseball, and it's not going to matter. So what? The pitcher's earn run average goes up a little bit. He gets it. He understands it. But if you strip this down and give the ball to Saquon Barkley and he gets killed because you don't have guys that can block for him, and you got a bunch of guys that are just going through the motions, you're going to hurt your franchise even more than you've hurt it already. Well, I, so I, you're going to have to have competent NFL players. Now, they're not going to be as good as the guys you traded away. Otherwise, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get any uh, picks for them in the first place. But you can't just send a bunch of rookies out there or unqualified football players and say, let's go 1-15 and and get the first overall pick. If you're going to do that, then you better take Barkley, you better take Beckham, you better take Eli. Get all those guys off the field because you're going to get them killed. Just, there's, there's no doubt. But Landon Collins doesn't want to go out there running, tackling everybody, being with a bunch of guys that don't belong in the NFL. Well, I, I think a lot of the uh, attention is going to be on the defense because the Giant defense is not a bad defense. I thought they played well against an explosive Atlanta offense. That's where the movement's going to come mm -hmm. from. So I don't think they're going to imperil Eli and Barkley and Beckham any more than they've imperiled them by putting together this awful offensive line. None of the people on that offensive line are going to get traded. None of that's going to change. But you might see Janoris Jenkins get traded. Yeah. You might see a couple of other You might see Olivier Vernon. You might see the, well, You might even listen, see Ogletree get you, traded. You play No, because I think they invested a lot in him, so you wouldn't get a, a lot, lot back. Snacks. Yeah, but you traded picks to get this guy. Well, so. maybe get picks back. I don't know. Well, you got to you got to make sure you get better than what you got uh, originally gave up to get him. I, I'm not sure he's going anywhere. But um, hey, listen, they played early in the year without Vernon, so so that that wouldn't be uh, that awful if they traded him away because they've had to play games earlier in the season when he. I think they but, won but, the game in Houston without him. But playing. imagine though, you're putting your team in a situation they can't score enough points the way it is with a good defense. If the, if you strip the defense of its oh, talent yeah. and the defense all of a sudden starts giving up 35 points a game.
They'll have right. no chance no, to no, win I'm games. Listen, I'm, not, I'm not arguing with you there, Michael. I mean, this is a team that's one and six with these guys, so you take them off. I mean, they're, they're not going to get any better because of this. Maybe they'll be a little bit more focused because guys are really be trying to stay in the league. I'm saying is you... In baseball, Michael, you might be able to fill your roster. In basketball, you might be able to fill your roster with dealy guys, lose the game, and just get the pick. You can't do that in football because you're going to have assets on the field that can get hurt by it. So you will have NFL-caliber players on there. They just won't be as good as the guys that you traded away. So uh, believe me, they're, they're, this, this team is going to go 3-13. and 13. I wouldn't be surprised if they give the Redskins all they can handle here because maybe they'll be ticked off and want to take it out on somebody.